Okay, um, what I have here is a setup we're going to do today. It's position, velocity, and acceleration versus time using a board instead of the frictionless track, which I've used in one of the first videos. As you come in, you're going to log into the, the, the computer okay, with your A user and password, and you're going to actually set up the capstone system click on the click on the capstone it's down here somewhere it's, I've already fired up the, the the program it doesn't take that long and today what I'm going to do is use the motion sensor and we're gonna actually physically plug that into the 850 universal box the yellow plug gets put into port 1 the black port gets put into port 2 and that's the, the digital input Make sure you have your fit, your motion sensor. You'll notice that there's a person on there, and there's also a um, kind of like a cart. You want to have it set over to the person this time. Okay, and I'm going to place the motion sensor two on the table. Now I actually need to do a hardware setup for the software, and you come up when you open up the program. It kind of looks like it looks exactly like this. You go over to the hardware setup. Okay, over on your left and click down port number one I have and I scroll down until I find the motion sensor two. Okay. This is done this is we're actually done with the, the hardware setup for this experiment and we're going to click back on the hardware setup and it'll it'll make that disappear. You also will have the option and I'm keep trying to keep track of the time because um, I messed up a few videos I think I went out too long um, you have the display, the quick start templates, and th for today I'm going to use a, uh, a table and graph. You also have other quick start, quick start templates and the option to create your own kind of templates, which we will do probably in future videos. Click on the, the template, and now what I want to do is I want to, I come up with a table, okay, a table for data and a graph. And I'm going to actually add another column. Um, it has nothing in the columns right now. I'm going to add, actually for this column, I'm going to add position. Scroll down, click on that, and that's a right hand, right click. Oops. That's actually a left lefty click on the mouse. And I'm going to put in velocity. And I'm also going to add, add another column. Um, you'll notice that this area is highlights and when you're on the graph, that also highlights. So you need to be, have it kind of highlight, highlighted. And I'm gonna from there, I'm gonna add another column by going up here to the um, top left. Insert column to the right. Okay. And I really don't like that. I thought it was the far right, but it was not. So I'm gonna change this to velocity, and then change this one to acceleration. I am also, I could also put in a, a fourth column for time, but I'm going to shrink this up. Okay. And you could add one for time if you'd like. Column to the right. And we did that. And click on for time. Okay. Now that's how to set up your, your table. You also want to set up your graph. And you have the measurements here. And you're going to set this right there to, I would set it to position because that's what I'm looking for. You kind of almost will know what you want to look for um, before you come to lab. I'm also going to add a second um, graph. I haven't even started collecting data yet. And you do up here, you'll see right there, it's actually the one that's point, there's an arrow that points up and over. And it's going to allow me to add a second graph to this general area. And you'll see right there. Okay, I'm going to click right there, and I'm going to make this one acceleration. So that's the setup for this, this lab here. I'm going to keep this one kind of short, and we'll continue with it in a, in, a, in a minute. I would also like to have you look at this area right here. It's the sampling rate, and I'm going to actually reduce that for this experiment. Oh, we'll reduce it to 5, 5 hertz. Okay, Your record button is over here. And there's uh, several options. But let me stop the video and make sure it can get um, 
load it up to YouTube and all that, and we'll go from there. Okay?